Hi, welcome back. Um, this is part two where I make the Wicked Good Tom Kha soup from this book, the Wicked Healthy Cookbook by um, Shad Sarano, Derek Sarano, and David Joachim. Um, I got this from Book Access. Go check them out. They have a lot of um, vegan cookbooks there. Um, so let me uh, go over here and then we'll continue. Yeah, remember to watch part one if you didn't watch part two. I mean, we didn't catch it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now it says add the lime juice, agave, and salt. Oh, let's see for a few minutes. Taste the broth. Add agave, lime juice, salt, and so until it tastes balanced to you. Oh, they're adding it now. But I checked. Um, Hotel Kitchen, they actually add it in later. So I'm going to add in the lime juice later. Ah, I forget that this thing's flesh and because this is um because I'm just gonna put all this in. Yeah. I think I because I don't I'm not adding in salt. I can add in the sugar now though. Yeah. I'm gonna add the lime layer. Yeah, so I'm changing it a bit because I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let me just read to you. So you asked to add the lime juice, agave, and salt. Agave? You say agave or sugar, right? Okay, let's add in the sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Hold on. Let me get two tablespoons of sugar. One. Hello, Asamat. You <laughs> need to add it gently to make sure it doesn't like splash like crazy. Okay, we'll put in the sugar first. I'm not doing salt. Um, yeah, I mean, I did check uh, Hot Thai Kitchen. She did put in the lime earlier, actually. So, I guess that's okay. But... No, she added in later. No, she put the macro lime... The macro lime is earlier, but the other one later. So, yeah. I put in the the... The carrot already because Mr. Chess guitarist likes it soft, so you know. Okay, so we're just gonna let it uh let it simmer for a few minutes. We'll just simmer it for one minute. Yeah. Put in the hello Eileen He, hello Silky. Cut the heat to low and add mushrooms, carrots, beans, and tofu. Simmer very gently until carrots are tender, about 15 minutes. Remove from here and stir in cilantro. Oh, okay. Mm. Alrighty. Yeah, I will taste the broth though, to see what it's like. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? I'll show you the rest of the book actually. Oh, there's no time to show you the rest of the book. Not no time lah, but... It's cement already. Oh, the sugar it becomes brown. Oh well. My sugar is too dark. Oh well. Yeah, I'm waiting for Organic Q to send me the date sugar. I need to remind them. 
lip powder. Yeah, for me, it doesn't need any salt. It will definitely need the lime though. Alright, so cut the heat to low and the mushrooms, carrots, beans, and tofu is using. Does anybody know like for the thermal mix, like what would low be? Okay, this is not authentic. So like I said, don't cancel me for putting in the the okra, but Mr. Jess Kitalis likes okra, so we're putting that in. Yeah. And then um I don't know how low is low. Later only I'm gonna put in the mushrooms. I think I'll let I'll cook this for like 10 minutes. And then put the mushrooms in. Yeah. So most probably I'll do a part three at the end just to show you the taste. Yeah, I still feel like there's too much. There's so much soup and broth. And like not enough EC or something, but we'll see. Anyway. He said another 15. So. And low. What is low? We'll do it at 90. I guess that's low. Ish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, so. Let me just show you a bit more. The soups. Oh, this is cute. This pot meal bar is really cute. I really should make one of these things. I wonder what is this. Oh, I think it's sweet potato. I think it's a vanilla cinnamon nutmeg with poppy seed crusted roasted sweet potato. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is like high class oat meal bar. Cauliflower ribs. That is really good. Real purple cabbage with mint and peanut sauce, that's nice. I don't like this picture because it's got beets and it just reminds me of blood. But yeah. Ni Nisua salad with plant based eggs and all of that. Hmm, I'm not too. Hard to get all of it. And then there's comfort foods. There's pasta dough. Porcini ravioli. Yeah, pumpkin risotto. Oh, stop avocado bar. I used to like making this last time. Quite cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Plum based meringue. Mayo lemon cheesecake. Oh, it's a kabucha tart. Yeah. And then there's the juices. Oh, I made this red sauce the other day, I think. Sometimes the compound butters. Yeah. Hello, Din Snake Bedroom. Okay. So, um, I'll be back for part three. Then you can see how it turns out. Yeah. All right. See you guys in like I don't know, another twelve minutes or something. See you. Hello, guys. This is part three of trying out the recipe from the Wicked. Good Tom soup. Um, so if you missed part one and part two, please go and try and watch that first. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom again, I still can't zoom. Fine, we will we'll put in the lime leaves now. I think I tear it a bit for the uh, fragrance. These are frozen ones because when I bought one packet, it's a lot. Yeah. So. Okay. I'll put in the lime juice. This is a lot. I think I'll taste it afterwards. Now I'll put in the mushrooms. And then let it simmer for another few minutes. Cut it to low and mushrooms. 
Tom's carrots being stove will simmer very gently until carrots are about 15 minutes. Remove from heat, stir in cilantro. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Sik Lan Chong. We are going to try and... Ah, this funny works. I don't know what is the secret. Maybe we zoom in a bit more after it. Can zoom in. I think you're not ready. Okay, now my. Oh, you know what? Let me see. Uh... Okay, so what I'm making here is the cooked one. But I also have a raw vegan uh, cooking course called Tantalizing Thai. I just wanted to show you. Yeah, and this one has, this is my raw vegan fish cake, my raw vegan... Uh, is that a tom yum? Of the tom ka, I think. And then the... This one is your... Um, cow yum. And then that's the... Mango sticky rice, and that's my tom yum. Yeah. So this is all raw vegan. Ooh, this looks so good. Yeah. Oh, this is the Thai iced tea. Ooh, this is the Pad Thai. Yeah, I always tell people like, um, this is more of how the Pad Thai should go like. Although I would have cut the tomatoes. Yeah. Hello, Gigby. We're waiting for this to cook, so I'm gonna show you guys my course. Uh, pineapple fried rice. Uh, this is the tom yum. Yeah. So yeah. Why you should never use almond butter in your part time? What you should use instead? Yeah. These people. Oh hello, Asma. People are. Like people are always using almond butter in raw vegan part time. It's like no. Yeah, so it's a 30 page PDF course, 11 page PDF bonus material, and then more than 20 videos to guide you through making all these nutritious and tasty Thai dishes in a raw vegan manner. And you have your Thai red curry paste, Thai red curry, cauliflower rice, Thai red curry zoodle soup, mushroom tom yum, Thai fish cakes, sweet chili dipping sauce. Ooh, that is yummy. Ah, uh, kanum jin nam ya. Noodles in curry, kao yam, nam gudu, mango sticky rice, coconut cream sauce, Thai iced tea. And then some more bonus as well, like green curry, pad thai, pineapple fried rice, green mango salad, tom ka head, some tam, green pomelo salad as well. Yeah, and she made the um, fish cakes. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Okay. Uh, remember there's no refunds, you still have to know. Yeah. Okay, you know what, let's um... Uh... Hello, naturally, natural me, garrison. Yeah. Okay. Let me flip this back. Oh no, we have to spoon it out so we can't flip it back. <laughs> I think we're good. I still need to put in the... I still need to test to see the flavour. Whether it needs to be sweet, sour or salty. Yeah. Yeah, plus the bendy is a bit like... Yeah, it's so brown. I 
should have used the actually I didn't want I shouldn't put so much sugar because I think it's hmm it's nice yeah yeah definitely you put all the lime juice in Yeah, I think it should be thicker. But how much water did I put? Just one cup, right? I don't know how much water did I put. I can't remember. a bit of soy sauce instead of salt. Yeah, I took I took two Thai cooking classes and they don't usually use that much salt. They actually just use the soy sauce. This is more soy sauce by the way. this out if not it would be like all just now it was a nice color now it's already like overcooked by the residue actually I won't even put it in the soup because people will be like eh I don't know. Because hmm. I'm upside here using olive oil, but then I'm using okra, which is not supposed to be here either, anyway. Ah, ah. Let's taste this. Now it's more balanced. Not very spicy though. I guess I didn't smash my... I didn't smash the Thai chili, so... The flavors didn't infuse that much. Yeah. Hi, little Kelly Wong. Okay. Let's, um... Scoop this out. Yeah. I made the... I think I'm going to put in more mushrooms later. I put... I, I left the tempeh cubes to be very big only because... Um, why? Uh? Because... I'm always scared that the thermomix will disintegrate it. Yeah. Okay, let's pour this and hope it doesn't splatter too much. Yeah, I think it needs more santan. Because I didn't use all the santan. So it's a bit thin. So you want to make it, I guess, follow the recipe, huh? Mm. Need to see more mushrooms. Mm. 
So don't eat the lime leaf. Yeah. Where is the other carrots? Yeah, I also was wondering why he asked to use so little carrots. I would have put in more. Hmm. Alright. Anyway. Here you go. There's the wicked good tonka soup. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let me flip so I can actually try it as well. I mean like, um, let me try a little bit more with the mushrooms. Because just now I just drank the soup, that's all. The lemongrass is not coming through that much. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, let's try. Mm. I wonder whether now it's too sour. Hmm. Mm. Dip is really nice. Mmm. Needs to be more spicy. Yeah. Maybe I'll add in more chili afterwards. Hmm. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Um, you can get this book at Book Access in Malaysia. They have outlets all over. And um, if there's any other recipes you like me, you like to see me make from this book? Message me, let me know, or comment below. And I'll see you guys another time. Alright.